So since we've been lifted from lockdown, I decided to reacquaint myself with the outside world, take myself out on a date. So let's go to Shimo Kitazawa. Good morning everyone, my name is Amanda, welcome back to Tokyo. So today's May 29th, it's about 25 degrees Celsius outside, which is, I don't know, about 70 something degrees Fahrenheit outside. A really beautiful day. Today I was kicked out of my house because Yuji has something really important to do for work and apparently I distract him all the time. Since Tokyo's been lifted from its state of emergency and its lockdown, I decided to get out and about and I decided to take myself out on a date today. Typically I'm very comfortable with being alone. I'm more of an independent person. I enjoy filming alone. I enjoy being alone. Um, occasionally I do like to be out with my friends though. I'm very good and secure with myself with being alone. But ever since we've been in lockdown and in quarantine, I've got increasingly more attached to Yuji and I've become a little bit more comfortable not being in outside settings and not being around people. I am generally an extroverted person, a very happy person, a very outgoing person. But ever since this recent lockdown, I've definitely readjusted to a uh, hikikomori type of living, uh, more of an inside, indoor type of living. So since we've been lifted from lockdown, I decided to reacquaint myself with the outside world, take myself out on a date. I'm going to one of my favorite neighborhoods, which is Shimokitazawa. It's more of a hipster, trendy type of neighborhood here in Tokyo. So basically, I'm going to teach myself to love the outdoors again and love city life. So let's go to Shimokitazawa. Why are you holding back? Mini hydrangeas, look at this! Mini hydrangeas! Okay, so I've been out already for about an hour just trying to find somewhere where I can get something cold to drink and sit down. I was having difficulties finding a place to sit down because a lot of the places aren't letting people come in and sit down yet. They're only doing takeout. So I finally found a place. This is called The Alley, which is a tapioca milk tea place, boba place, whatever you may call it may have originated in Taiwan. I'll have to look that up for you guys, but it's really good. It's really popular here. I got their recommended drink, which was the Bonsai Green Milk Tea. I got no tapioca because sometimes if I drink too much tapioca, I feel nauseous. Should have put a little sugar in that. to the cutest Japanese lady. She was so sweet. Okay, so you guys see this dress I'm wearing today? Um, it's actually a dress I bought years ago and I recently stumbled upon it while I was cleaning out my closet. And so I haven't worn it in a while. Apparently, my dress was riding up my backpack and so everyone could see my ass. <laughs> so she kindly came up to me and she told me that my skirt is up and I was like, oh my God, thank you. gonna do some thrift shopping so let's see if we can find anything good I usually don't do too much thrift shopping in Tokyo just because thrift shopping in Tokyo is a lot more expensive than it is back home in the States so anyways let's go thrifting let's see what we find
So I guess I'm a simple girl because if I were taking myself out on a date, you really wouldn't be able to lose if you took me out to get cheeseburgers and fries. I'm really owning up to the American stereotype, but this burger quality is really, really good. I wonder if it's 100% beef because a lot of the burgers in Japan are a beef to pork mixture. I like how they try to make it look like a little bit like in and out too, in my opinion. I like the menu, just the styling of the menu looks really like in and out. So I'm a happy camper right now. I'm gonna finish my burger and then I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, so it's been a really long time since I've walked so much. I was just checking my steps right now and it says that I have 12,763 steps. Look. So I'm exhausted. <laughs> I wanted to do more things, like I wanted to do more shopping. I wanted to try on some outfits. I also wanted to go to this bookstore here, but apparently now they're kind of charging admission, which is a little bit weird. And admission costs like 2,000 yen, but you get a free tote bag. It's about 2.30 right now, and unfortunately, I will be having to go to work very soon. Work starts at what time? What time does work start? Every day is different, okay? Don't judge. So work starts at 4.30. I'll have to leave here in about an hour to get to work. I'm definitely feeling a little bit of the heat exhaustion with wearing the mask, so when people aren't around me, I am definitely not wearing it. Basically, I cannot do the mask 24-7, so I'm keeping my distance from people, not wearing the mask when nobody's around me. Right now, there's nobody around me, and um, when there are people around me, yes, I do wear the mask. Oh, so one of the things is, is like, we haven't been eating outside in quite a while, right? I kind of got a little bit of a culture shock because I forgot how expensive things are when purchasing food, like buying a meal at a restaurant, I forgot how expensive it is in comparison to just cooking at home. That burger that I was eating, it was very, very good. It was about $11, 1,100 yen. That drink I got earlier at the alley, that was 700 yen. I spent 1,800 yen today, that's about $18. One of the things I don't want to forget now that we've been released back into the wild, how much money I was able to save while staying indoors even though my work hours were reduced as well as Yuji's. Uh, we were making a lot less, but somehow we were able to save more than when we were making more. So that frightens me a little bit. <laughs> so I want to continue trying to save money and not spend a lot. Of course, I do want to spend a little bit of money to show you guys things to do in Tokyo. So that's money that's coming out of my own pocket to make this video good for you guys. So if you guys are enjoying the videos, I hope you can give it a thumbs up. I rarely ask any more about the thumbs up because I just, I want it to come out naturally and I don't want to try to make it a call to action, something that I have to do every video. You guys have been subscribing a lot, so thank you. Thank you so much for all my new subscribers and current subscribers. You guys help out a lot. I don't make money from YouTube yet. I am very close. So every watch, every subscriber, every thumbs up really means a lot to me. Even when I do start making money, I'm not gonna be making that much. But anyways, I, it just keeps me motivated. It is one of my goals, so I thank you guys so much. I think there's one more thing I wanna do for my date day in Tokyo and Shimo Kitazawa. We went thrifting, we got a good meal, we got some nice tea at a cafe. And I think there's one more thing I wanna do for me. So let's do that before I have to get to work. Oh.